word from this video sponsor. Got an idea for a circuit, widget, or device that you want a rapid prototype or sell? Check out JLC PCB. They offer their board manufacturing services starting at two bucks for five boards and only take a few days from start to finish. So make sure to check out JLC PCB. And once again, thanks for making this video possible. Now let's get on with the video. Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306. Sorry if I sound kind of a bit hoarse right now. I'm um, kind of in the midst of uh, illness, so <clears throat> I'm going to do the best that I can. I'm going to speak for this uh, part of the video, but the rest will unfortunately be silent uh, because I don't think I can speak for very long. Anyway, uh, as you know, there, speaking of illness, is a lot of delays in um, manufacturing and component supplies and whatnot in China right now. So I ordered some boards. Um, I believe it was at the end of January-ish, uh, right when they had the uh, the quarantine notice uh, for a lot of uh, Chinese suppliers. So it took me a little longer to get these boards. I think it only took me about maybe a week and a half, something like that. But they are here. So let's just see what I got. So they have the always obligatory pen. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. That's just the cap that goes inside there. Okay, that confused me for a second. And um, more importantly, the actual boards that I ordered. So I have three boards that I ordered this time, and we'll be focusing on this one. Uh, just sort of a quick uh, future look at some of these boards. This is just an adapter that I ordered. That probably won't be a separate video. Uh, this is actually something that's quite interesting. And I'll give you guys a quick peek it's a UV light box controller that I designed. That'll be an entirely separate video. I still have to finish that. However, these boards are the um, Arduino ISP, ICSP. I call it the Nano just because it's in a nano form factor sort of thing. But yeah, you can see just how tiny these are. And in this video, we'll be turning this into this. And this is a fully self-contained uh, ICSP USB programmer. And you can plug this into uh, your computer either with directly into USB or with a micro cable and use this to program other um, Arduino, you know, or 80 mega uh, microcontroller boards with the standard ICSP header, the six pin header. So this will allow me to uh, make other boards. I do have other, um, like a USB ASP uh, programmer that I currently use. Uh, but I just wanted something kind of small keychain size that I could throw in a bag. And I can make, you know, many of these for pretty cheap. Um, I currently, I hand assembled this one, obviously, as you'll see in a second. But this could be, be very easily modified to be churned out of a factory. But anyway, um, I guess I'll take you to the assembly. And afterwards, I'll show you the process of flashing the firmware onto here. And actually how to use this to program a secondary board. So, let's get to it.
thank you if you stuck along uh, till the very end of this video. So yeah, this works perfectly. I do need to mark, I just bought the generic uh, six pin headers here. I need to mark off orientation. I currently have to kind of keep in mind so I don't plug it in backwards. It doesn't, I don't think I've, I, I've accidentally plugged in backwards once and it didn't damage anything. It just didn't work and I quickly unplugged it. But yeah, other than that, this works perfectly. The CH340 USB controller that I bought works perfectly. You do have to manually install drivers under Windows though for that to be detected. Um, but other than that, once you install those drivers, you plug it right in, it recognizes and you can uh, change your programmer in the Arduino software to Arduino as ISP and use this like normal to program. Now, one thing, one feature that I didn't get to actually test out because a part never came is uh, this little, uh, it's, I think it's called a SOIC byte header and I'll put a link to the to the GitHub page that I downloaded this from. And someone basically made a small uh, SOIC size um, programming header. So normally I have like a full six uh, pin size header, but um, they have this tiny little header and I wanted to try it out and I bought a programming clip and it hasn't arrived yet. And I don't know when it's gonna arrive with the delays from manufacturing in China due to the coronavirus. So. I thought I, I would just manually, as you saw in the picture, I manually held a wire onto the reset and I used the rest of the pins on the ICSP header to uh, manually program it. But the idea was to have the separate clip, which is spring loaded, that you just snap onto there and you hook the wires up to there and you can program a batch of these real quick. But yeah, unfortunately that didn't work out, but um, I did add this header there for future if I wanted to make more of these to sell. Anyway, yeah, this works great. Very happy with how this turned out. And if you guys are interested in making your own, um, you will unfortunately need either another Arduino to program this, or you'll need like a USB ASP or another ICSP programmer. So it's sort of the chicken and the egg scenario where you need a programmer to make a programmer. But if you are interested in uh, making your own, um, I'll have the board files available on the hackaday.io page in the description. So you'll be able to make your own. And anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm having a lot of fun making my own development tools recently as I ramp up uh, different projects. So anyway, I guess um, I'll give my voice a rest now. It's about ready to, to kick the bucket. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.